<laughs> hear that shit, hear it again. Play that shit, play up the jam. The J-A-M, the Just Ask Mickey Show. That's right, you ask questions and we answer them. Hey my friends, this is Mickey Funk, live from Ibiza, and today's question is... I think the situation that we all experience now in this pandemic caused a lot of anxiety. And I want to share with you seven tips that work, how you can overcome that, how you can deal with this anxiety, because it's quite something to handle. And I think it's very important to see that it's good to, to find support. I found my teddy, you know. <laughs> That's already like nice. <laughs> so figure out what you like, what you need, you know. And then number one, the most important thing that you have to stop right now is to judge yourself, to judge yourself, to judge yourself and your situation. Everything came different than you thought. Everything is different than it is. And that's how life is. Things come different than you, than you imagine them. Things come also like how you imagine them. But also there's always something, and we experience this, a bigger thing, that messes up all our plans and dreams and things don't go as we thought they will go. So the most important thing is like, stop judging yourself or the situation. That will give you already a lot of relief. It's quite challenging not to judge because we are raised to judge all the time. This is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad. Our whole system works on judgment. <laughs> we are navigating through judgment. So how can we switch that is actually coming back to the present moment. Opening all our senses and just experiencing what is right now, here in this moment. And then observing what I'm thinking. Am I thinking about my past, my future, or, or am I here? Really feeling like getting more sensitive to what is the sound around me? What is the smell around me? And that will help you to stop judging. <laughs> Number two, prioritize yourself. I think why this anxiety comes with the situation that we are experiencing is because suddenly the truth comes up. Suddenly we see the truth. And it is said that the truth is not often comfortable <laughs> because it's the truth. And we try to hide sometimes from the truth because we are scared. We are raised with lies, so we rather go ahead with believing with the lies <laughs> or starting to believe in a truth. And the truth is you can change. So easy. That's true. You can change. That's wonderful. You don't have to be the person you were you don't have to be how you think you are. So prioritize yourself. That means like deal with yourself, work your magic and see where you hide from the truth, where you lie to yourself. That is the next point. Number three, be true to yourself. Really, really truthful to yourself. And that is also not really, um, how to say, 
it can be painful. Because you have to look at the shadow side of yourself and that's the side we try to avoid. We try not to show to people. That is the part where we put all the bad thinking of ourselves and of the others. We hide it in that corner and hope nobody will see it, but <laughs> it's impossible. We know all this wonderful story from Oscar Wilde, where he's feeding his bad side in, in return to, to gain immortality and eternal youth. And we know also the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, where on, by daylight you are like this beautiful person, but by night you are like ugly and you just wish bad things for people. So like you're in the front, you, you, you pretend you're happy and you love everybody and in, in your true inside you are actually envious. You have like all these other feelings and compare yourself. So be true to yourself, to, to really understand where am I standing, where, what do I hide and what, what are my good aspects. And by, it's in, for example, in, in magic you do it like this, you create a shadow book, you create a list where you write all your personal characters that are good that you want to show that to the world and then you write also all the negative things like that you think about yourself and then you you will see the image and then you will also see how the work will go because you will see like what what do i want to feed in this garden of of my self-love in this garden of love where do i want to give my attention and where do I see that I have to do the transformation of some shit that is still inside of me into gold, because that's like pure alchemy. So the next one, I just like, okay, number four, trust. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big one. Trust, trust yourself, trust yourself. It's, it's a deep one because we, we, are, we lost our trust in ourselves because we lost to trust our intuition. Our intuition says like one thing, but then our mind says another thing. So we don't follow with our guts. We don't trust our guts anymore because we think like, it's really strange because our intuition knows our intuition knows what we don't know. Our intuition leads us to places where we would normally maybe not go, but the intuition knows there we will meet that person and then a coincidence happens and we end up in this wonderful party with all these weirdos and have tea. You know, <laughs> like these coincidences that happen when, when you follow what your intuition is telling you. So yeah, start to trust yourself. Again, that's like really work. That means like water your trust every day. Take out all the weeds that are not trusting yourself, that are coming, you take them out. And it, it, it's daily, it's daily. You have to, to regain your trust with every little action. You have to, when you, when you doubt, when you doubt yourself, then don't go there. Or then you try to figure out, do I doubt myself because somebody said something and I don't think that I know the answer? For me, for example, it's very often that I think like, the others know better. My intuition tells me something and I think like, yeah, but that cannot be. They're, they are probably more professional than me. They, they know probably more. My intuition, no, no, don't do that. Do it like this. And if I don't listen, we get sick. If we don't listen to our intuition, we get sick because our intuition is our GPS. And if that is not working, we get lost. We don't know anymore where our North Star is. We don't know anymore where, why we are here, what is our purpose and what we have to do right now in this moment, in this moment of this weird situation of pandemic, anxiety number five kindness be kind to yourself
Be kind to yourself. Imagine yourself as this little girl, this little boy you were. And yeah, start parenting, reparenting, I would, I would say it is called. Start like being the mother and the father for this, this little creature and connect with this, with this energy. You know, for me, that is like, that is for me the wow. When we become like children, when we, yeah, when we step into the wonder and we, and we allow ourselves to, to be this wondrous child. And that's how you, how you retrain your kindness towards yourself. You see yourself as this child and, and then you step into this role of the child. You, you wonder and at the same time you're happy about yourself that you wonder. You know, that's like how you start to, to plant little seeds of kindness. Number six. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Boundaries. That's number six. Stop being a doormat. Stop trying to please everybody. Find a beautiful way to say like, hey, that's totally okay, but um, I won't do that because this is my boundary. This is where I can help you and further I cannot go. Yeah? That is something how you build your self-esteem and your self-worth. This is a big one to realize, okay, there are boundaries. I have to set the boundaries. Why? Because otherwise everybody is like just pushing your boundaries and you end up doing everything. You're going to be the, the producer, the, the driver, the cook, the cleaning lady. You're going to be everything, you know? And you will do it because you think if you do all of that, they will love you. They will cheer you. They will clap. They will think you are the, you're the shit. But in reality, you, disgust, you are disgusting about yourself because you do all that, but you don't give you, yourself the same, the same attention. You don't give the same worth. Number seven. Number seven, number seven is magic. Number seven is magic for me. Yeah, and when you want to perform magic, most of the time it won't work. <laughs> like if you want to show off that magic works. So I want to inspire you to, to use this time to work your magic. And the most magical thing you can do is to forgive yourself, to forgive your past selves and others, knowing that you did the best you could do in that situation. And each one who was invo involved in this situation were doing their best. So <sighs> that will take so much anxiety away from you. Ah, so you can breathe free and trust your, yeah, your guidance, your intuition. Hey, my friends, if you have more questions, join me on my Patreon. Love you. Love you.